In this video, we'll be going over seven money pitfalls that a lot of people fall into, especially in their 20s and 30s, that end up costing them thousands of dollars down the line. If you're in your 20s, you probably have an influx of cash, whether that's a pay raise or a side hustle with less responsibility. Maybe you don't have kids or maybe you don't have that many expenses. If you're in this situation, you want to avoid these seven money traps that can drain your money very quickly. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Money trap number one is not keeping track of small consistent expenses. We all spend money in some way, shape or form on a regular basis, whether that's buying coffee, getting groceries, or getting gas. But how many people actually track their expenses? According to a survey from Mint, 65% of Americans don't know how much they spent in the last month. Nearly a third of Americans said they wish they spent less last month as well. Many people are reluctant to track their spending, but you have to realize that budgeting is critical to maintaining good financial health. You can't grow financially if you don't know where your money is going. Keeping track of your expenses can help you reveal any spending issues, keep track of your budget, and help you meet any financial objectives. Now, I totally get that it can be really annoying to start tracking this, but there are so many free options available that you can use. You can use free budgeting apps, you can write down your lists physically every week, or even use an Excel sheet to track your expenses. Not being transparent with where your money goes is a crucial money trap that many Americans fall into. Money trap number two is buying new and luxury cars. Simply put, cars keep people poor. According to AAA's Your Driving Cost Report in 2022, the average yearly cost to own and operate a brand new car is around $10,000 or around $900 a month. Buying a new or luxury car in your 20s is not the best move you can make for most majority of people. The main reason is because cars are depreciating assets and they lose value every year. For example, if you buy a new car and try to return it a week later, the dealership will offer you thousands and thousands of dollars less just because it's in your name and you already bought the car. Simply put, you instantly lose money. What you can do instead is try buying a vehicle that's a couple years old or is fresh off a lease. You want to find something that will give you more bang for your buck. Also, if you can live without a car and don't need one, consider not getting one at all. If you live in a big city with public transportation widely available, that might be a better option. Money trap number three is not contributing to retirement accounts. One of the biggest money mistakes that people in their 20s make is not contributing early to retirement accounts like their 401k or an IRA. Look, I get it. If you're in your 20s, retirement really isn't a factor you're thinking about. It seems so far away and it's not a big concern yet. You might be thinking, I'm retiring in 30, 40 years. I'll think about it later. Trust me when I say this. If you ask anyone in their 30s or 40s, do you wish you put more money into investments when you were 20? Most of them will say, yeah, I really wish I did. Because now I'm playing catch up in my 30s and 40s instead of being proactive in my 20s. Taking a portion of your income and putting it into investments, especially your retirement accounts every single month, will really pay off in the future. This is especially true if you have a 401k offered by your company and more true if your company matches your contributions. I personally would take full advantage of this contribution as pretty much it's free money given by your company. I personally would also consider taking advantage of other retirement accounts like a Roth IRA and starting early as possible. If you do this consistently in your 20s, when you're in your 30s, you'll be thanking yourself. Unlike most of your peers who don't think about retirement until they're in their 30s or 40s. Money trap number four is not having an emergency fund ready. Did you know that 58% of Americans, or roughly 150 million adults, are living paycheck to paycheck, including 38% that make $250,000 or more? This is very dangerous because you really don't know when an emergency will strike. For example, let's look at the 2020 pandemic. When the country went into lockdown, a lot of people lost their jobs and income. But what didn't stop was their living expenses. According to Forbes, a survey found that the pandemic triggered nearly 40% of people who had emergency funds to access them, with 73.3% using up half or more of the fund, and 29% all of it. Bankrate also conducted a survey and found that 51% of Americans have less than 3 months of expenses covered in their emergency fund, including 25% who don't even have a fund. Now you may be asking, Why is an emergency fund important? The whole point of having an emergency fund is to make sure that you don't go into more debt in times of need or scramble to wrangle money up in the last minute. This can ultimately cost you thousands of dollars down the line as if you don't have an emergency fund, 
Many people turn to maxing out credit cards or taking out loans, which can make you more financially unstable. Money trap number five is investing into speculative investments. Now, this is a money trap that I've personally fallen into in the past as well, and maybe you have too. If you're in your 20s and 30s, you might randomly one day get a hot stock tip and end up dumping tens of thousands of dollars into it because you think you can make over $100,000 overnight, and this would be life-changing. But you have to understand that there's a big difference between investing and speculating. It's important to ask yourself, am I gambling or am I investing? And you also need to understand the reasoning for getting into these particular investments. A big rule of thumb for investing is you want to limit risk and increase potential for reward. What I personally do when I find myself potentially getting into one of these investments, I sit down and I really think about the pros and cons and the risks and rewards of getting into this investment. And also why I'm trying to get into this investment. Is it because I have FOMO? Is it because I'm tempted to get rich quick? As a long-term investor, some questions I ask myself is, how risky is this investment? Can I lose all my money? Does this investment have enough quality for me to hold this for a long period of time? The main point here is, yes, there can be investments that give you great potential reward, but you really need to understand the reasoning behind getting into the investment and not blindly just pour money in. Money trap number six is trying to look rich when you're not. It's a proven fact that most people in their 20s go broke trying to look rich. For example, I've noticed that a lot of people in their 20s spend a lot of money on designer clothing, expensive cars, and just live an expensive lifestyle in general. There's a term for this called being a 30,000 heir. This term describes anyone that makes, you know, less than $100,000 a year, and for example, walks into a bar and tries to buy out the bar, and tries to look rich when they're really not. Now I know people in their 20s like to have fun, and honestly, I go out sometimes too. But the point here is to make sure that you don't try to impress other people by acting like you're rich. When you're really not. This will cripple you financially, and honestly, in the end, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> money trap number seven is no money down plans. These plans might seem subtle and innocent at first. For example, you might be tempted to buy an expensive mattress with no money down and pay it off in five years. The issue with this is that you're probably paying over 10% APR on these small loans, and they do add up over time, especially if you're going into many different no money down plans. All these bills might seem small, but they really can add up over time and start to drain your wallet. What I would personally do is buy all of these items in cash, and if you can't afford it, I will consider buying a cheaper version of that item. A lot of people fall into this trap of paying no money down at first, but in the end, you end up paying more due to interest. A quote I personally live by is, if you can't buy it 10 times, you can't afford it. Think of it this way, missing out on temporary fun to build permanent stability is not a loss. Not falling into the seven money traps mentioned in this video will help you level up financially and keep you from falling into these financial pitfalls. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe for more future videos if you haven't already. Your life is a masterpiece, so let's unlock that full financial potential together. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.